welcome to your science classroom and I am your teacher Mambek Regala Darihe. How are you today? I'm sure you're excited for our lesson. Come on, let's go! At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to describe seismic waves and differentiate the types of seismic waves. Let's keep the ball rolling! What are seismic waves? Seismic waves are waves of energy that travel through the Earth's layers and are a result of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, magma movement, large landslides, and large man-made explosions that give out low-frequency acoustic energy. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and seismic waves that move through and around the Earth. You are a seismologist if you are a scientist who studies earthquakes and seismic waves. There are two types of seismic waves. We have the body waves and the surface waves. Body waves can travel through the Earth's inner layers. Traveling through the interior of the Earth, body waves arrive before the surface waves emitted by an earthquake. These waves are of a higher frequency than surface waves. There are two types of body waves, the P waves and the S waves. P wave or primary wave is also known as compressional wave. It is the fastest kind of seismic wave and it can move through solid rock and fluids. Here is a P wave in action. Subjected to a P wave, particles move in the same direction that the wave is moving in, which is the direction that energy is traveling in and is sometimes called the direction of wave propagation. S wave or secondary wave is also known as shear wave. It is slower than a P wave. It can only move through solid rock and not through any liquid medium. It is this property of S waves that led seismologists to conclude that the Earth's outer core is a liquid. Here is an S wave in motion. S waves move rock particles up and down or side to side perpendicular to the direction that the wave is traveling in or the direction of wave propagation. We move on to the second type of seismic waves, the surface waves. Traveling only through the crust, surface waves are of a lower frequency than body waves and are easily distinguished on a seismogram as a result. Though they arrive after body waves, it is surface waves that are almost entirely responsible for the damage and destruction associated with earthquakes. This damage and the strength of the surface waves are reduced in deeper earthquakes. Here are the two types of surface waves. We have the love waves and the rainy waves. 
Love Wave was named after A. E. H. Love or Augustus Edward Hoff Love, a British mathematician who worked out the mathematical model for this kind of wave in 1911. Love Wave is the fastest surface wave. It moves the ground from side to side. Here is a love wave in action. Confined to the surface of the cross, love waves produce entirely horizontal motion. Moving on to the Rayleigh wave. It was named after John William Strott Lord Rayleigh, who mathematically predicted the existence of this kind of wave in 1885. Rayleigh wave rolls along the ground just like a wave rolls across a lake or an ocean. Here is a Rayleigh wave in action. Because it rolls, it moves the ground up and down and side to side in the same direction that the wave is moving. Most of the shaking felt from an earthquake is due to the Rayleigh wave which can be much larger than the other waves. And that's all for the seismic waves. I hope you learned something. And for our parting words, here is a quotation from John Schakowsky that goes, There is a lot that happens around the world we cannot control. We cannot stop earthquakes. We cannot prevent drought. And we cannot prevent all conflict. But when we know where the hungry, the homeless, and the sick exist, then we can help. Thank you for watching god bless everyone till our next lesson here in your science classroom stay safe everyone see ya